Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a monosaccharide and give examples. You should then be able to describe the structure of glucose. In this video we're going to start looking at a group of biological molecules called carbohydrates. Now carbohydrates are extremely important in biology and in fact carbohydrates are a major part of the human diet. For example we find sugars such as sucrose in cakes and biscuits and we find starch in foods such as pasta and rice. Both sugars and starch are examples of carbohydrates. I'm showing you here the structure of the sugar glucose. As you can see, glucose has a ring shape. The formula of glucose is C6H12O6. All carbohydrates, including glucose, contain only the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Glucose contains six carbon atoms, and we can see these here. Now, sugars with six carbon atoms are called hexose sugars, and you need to learn that word. As you can see, the structure of glucose is fairly complicated, so scientists usually draw this in a simpler form, which I'm showing you here. In this diagram, we're not showing the carbon atoms or most of the oxygen and hydrogen atoms. In the exam, you could be asked to draw this structure of glucose, so you do need to learn it. Now, glucose is a single sugar molecule. Scientists call single sugar molecules monosaccharides. Mono means one, and saccharide means sugar. There are a number of different monosaccharides, for example, glucose, galactose and fructose, and you need to learn those examples. Coming up, we're going to look at a key property of monosaccharides and what is meant by a pentose monosaccharide. OK, now one key feature of monosaccharides is that they're soluble in water. And if we look again at the full structure of glucose, we can see why. Monosaccharides, including glucose, have a large number of OH groups. Scientists call OH groups hydroxyl groups. Hydroxyl groups can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules, and because of this, monosaccharides are soluble in water. Scientists call molecules like this hydrophilic. Hydrophilic means water-loving, and hydrophilic molecules all dissolve in water. Now, we've already seen that glucose is a hexose monosaccharide, as it contains six carbon atoms. However, some monosaccharides contain five carbon atoms, and these are called pentose monosaccharides. A good example is ribose. And I'm showing you the simplified structure of ribose here. If you're following the OCR or at Excel specs, then you need to learn the structure of ribose. Now, monosaccharides can be chemically joined to form larger carbohydrates. Scientists call these disaccharides and polysaccharides. And we'll be starting to look at those in the next video.